an eternity it spent playing out in the tortured halls of my mind. Mentors, friends and lover alike turn against you. Whatever end we meet, it has been a delight to compose the song of change together. It is not time to weep and cry for the departed. There is much yet to do. Ah, the tree of change bears fruit. Become 
legend. The stage is set. Hello and welcome to the Inotria The Last Song Tech Showcase. I'm Stone Stonoff, Game Director at JAMA Games. And today we're going to take you on a journey through all of the improvements we made as we transition to Unreal Engine 5. We're going to start off with our main character. You can now clearly see the markings of Ardore, the fantastical power that you can channel for spells, buffs, or to alter the very world around you. Our unique Masks and Loadouts feature also makes a public appearance for the very first time. Masks are a unique piece of gear dropped from powerful enemies that serves as the center point of up to three customizable loadouts. Each loadout has its own appearance, passives, equipments, and slots where you can put perks and abilities to make your build unique in terms of playstyle. A warrior wielding a massive heap of raw iron a swift rogue dishing out single target damage, or a mid-range battle mage. Or, why not all three? We also wanted to ensure that underneath the weirdness, we have rock-solid fundamentals, so we've redone most of our core gameplay systems. Movesets now take advantage of motion capture, and the blending between moves is smoother, improving the look and feel of the main character. Our chainable parries allow you to adopt a push forward and aggressive playstyle, something that we fully encourage. Enemy design has also benefited from the integration of motion capture in our pipeline, expanded AI behaviors, and a little bit of weirdness to spice things up. Our arsenal of weapons has been expanded with additional movesets, from Swift Sabers to my own personal favorite, Colossal Weapons. Now, it wouldn't be an Unreal Engine 5 video without the obligatory Nanite and Lumen mention. The adoption of new pipelines allowed us to take full advantage of this amazing new technology and punch way above our weight, given our team size. Alongside the tech, we iterated on our art direction. We now use bolder colors, more dramatic staging, and a much greater emphasis on environmental storytelling to be more in line with the genre expectations while still staying true to our Mediterranean core. An excellent showcase of this is Quinta, our opening area where we've tested out our new approach to really bring the City of Eternal Celebration to life. We really can't wait till you can explore the diverse world of Anotria, from the Mediterranean beauty of the Felician shores to the secrets tucked away in the shadowy depths of its grandiose architecture. Bosses are the culmination of everything mentioned so far. From devastating attacks to awe-inspiring arenas, each boss hides a new secret and new exciting challenge to overcome. And like everything else in Anotria, they are based off of the rich and diverse Italian folklore and history. We have many more surprises outside the scope of this video, which we will gradually reveal as we get closer to our release date. Thank you very much for joining us for this development update, and see you next time. <laughs>